Resident Cop. Slag, and I'm here with Charging Charles. Good evening, everybody. And this is the second race of the first brackets of the Night Pendant Cup. And for everyone who doesn't know, the Night Pendant Cup is always Dr. Saturn's Choice, always extended PSI Shuffle. And the flag for this one is Generate Food. We have Javanator and Crimson Green racing today. So it should be some good racing. Both of them were doing a lot of practice right beforehand. So they're all warmed up and we're ready to go. The uh, Javanator comes in, I believe, at the, the seventh seed in the bracket. Crimson Green uh, finished 10th in the qualifying. Mm -hmm. uh, and if this is anything like college basketball, uh, that gives uh, Crimson Green a 33.6 chance percent to pull the 10 over seven seed upset. <laughs> Swoosh, okay. And now here we go. And so with Doc Saturn, you always start out in a random area and you will have... Um, three different teleports. So it looks like they have three in winters. Both of those are good uh, to start off with. And a, I think a big mistake by each person not checking that dark present because the dark present is scaled to pass the Hawkeye. So if right, the Hawkeye happens to be point. late in logic, that would be a, a potentially useful present. Uh, right. Yes, we'll go over this is the Girthbound Super Series. If you're looking for Earthbound, uh, you're in the, the wrong channel here. <laughs> but also if they had taken like if they had ran into an enemy and it was scaled super high then that could have just been would have been a quick death time. and then you try try again nice they can see the allure for, uh, for a second child as well uh, especially one with PSI capabilities and a key item so Pooh will always have a key item and we're about to see what it is yeah I don't believe they've checked it nope Java was going to go back to Deep Dark because I thought he'd do a present check and instead he's going to go grab the Winter's Key item. It's looking like the Winter's Key item, I think, is almost has to be um, the Hawkeye, Hawkeye at this point, just for progression. Maybe maybe Fly Honey or you know, Zombie Paper? Could be Zombie Paper, well, but that would then that wouldn't really make a lot well. of sense. It is Hawkeye. And there's the Hawkeye, so I believe and we still Okay, and who has Shyness book, so there we go. That's where we're going. Oh, we have two sinks down already a minute and a half in. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a blazing fast seed. Except for with Generate Food, it can be very difficult to find Repel Sandwiches. And Repel Sandwiches in the PK Scramble have replaced Skip Sandwiches because you're always walking at Skip Sandwich speed. And so Jay Tolmar, the developer, chose to add repel sandwiches, which will repel enemies for 15 seconds, to, or sorry, 10 seconds and 20 seconds. Is that right? If it's yeah, but then uh, with the generate food, there's, I think, four different degrees of yes. repel item as well. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Javi and Crimson both places. getting some early, early fights down just for that, that early PSI learn little bit of experience and then so like sometimes in the generate food you'll only be able to find repels um in like the eastern countries so like in scarabo or delam and then sometimes they'll be usually they're in bakeries or places like that and then sometimes they're it's a repel burger so they're in burger shops so you really have to like it's something that can be difficult because a lot of times in these dock saturn seeds you're not spending a ton of time shopping you're just trying to kind of charge through and like mm -hmm. send it but if you're looking Cruz, for repels. Crimson Green with a big, uh, a big navigation mistake. They're getting lost <laughs> yes. in the swamp and having to have his picture taken. Getting pickled. Both runners, I think, forgetting about um, using teleport to avoid some overworld fights as well. Yeah, which, and you know, in the vanilla Earthbound, when you're going, you're doing the speed run, you have, you know, the runners use teleport to get through the swamp faster. As you can see, um, one of the quality of life updates to the scramble randomizer is that you are at fast speed through swamps and sewers and stuff like that. This is uh, the, the typical plea for Chaz to implement this in Ancient Cave as well, but we all know that that is not going to happen. It's like a, a swamp ever dread. <laughs> what's, what's going on, Andy? What'd you mess up? What do you need help with? <laughs> Also, hi, Rizzo, Panther, Andy, Infernal. Welcome in. Yeah, I missed uh, who there. Did he have a, was it Rocket that he had? Um, I didn't see. I know he has a shot. It was a, a one-shot of Everdread, whatever it was. 
And we are, uh, Java is picking up Jeffrey. Maybe he'll check and see what item he has. I can't help but check and see what item immediately almost, you know, like I just wanna know. Yeah, and at this point, um, yeah, it, it might make sense to go, I mean, it probably doesn't make sense to go check out the, the tent and just take care of the first sank, get those early levels down. He has the Tendacrot. Yeah. And PSI Rocket. Oh, Tendacrot, that's going to be another teleport uh, uh -huh. check there as well. So um, who does have Rocket, which means it's going to be a lot of uh, some early, early uh, sweeps, I think, some easy fights. And they also just got four sides, so that's going to open up quite a bit. Um, so yeah, it looks like yeah, the seat's pretty There'll be a lot of teleport right options. And Jeff has the, the, yeah, with the tent there as well. So I think um, we're likely to see a pack of bubble gum makes sense. Um, hopefully not to have, mm -hmm. um, not a to have the, eraser. Uh, eraser, eraser <laughs> usage, I'm hoping. You know, maybe just hold yeah. off and save that for the end. If winter is just oh. sank four, then, then thank goodness. Look at all that fruit. That fruit looks so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. It just looks really cute. <laughs> just little pieces of fruit around the trash can. It's the, the tender fruit repository. Yeah. Good to know that they're getting their nutrients. We have some bears. Javanier tried to finagle a green swirl there unsuccessfully, but it was a, a good attempt. See what these bears are like. Bears are doing some hmm. damage. Yeah, they're mighty. I think if you can just save like and six they psychic did points. Get the eraser, eraser. eraser. Charles, we missed that. They did get the eraser. eraser. They did. So yeah, that was the item there. So just hoping... gum. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. But I mean, you have the four side checks. You have the mines. You have moon side. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if you can pick up a signed banana instead. No, and I'm it's done so, uh, yeah. There, there's a good chance we're not going to have to see. Um, Where's Crimson going? Moonside there at this point. I think Crimson's, Crimson's lost in. It might be a little lost. Lumine Hall. Yeah, Lumine Hall can be a little confusing. Unless he knows something that we don't. Well, I know in the vanilla game, that's where you fight one of the, like, un I think it's the uncontrollable sphere for the broken antenna. So I've literally spent hours in that room before trying to get the 1128 drop. And it looks like he's just going uh, he for... He did get the buttered Ermel, so... <laughs> let, me, let me just put this out to chat. What Worth is an Ermel? I think it's, um... What is an Ermel? Is it a cookie? I have no idea. That's why I'm asking. I guess I, I feel like it's, it sounds like an animal, but I'm not Ermel. sure. Let me see what I mean. Tomar really... It's probably some ethnic stuff. thing. Tomar really loved to, to push the ethnic foods on us with this. Okay, it is... Uh... A fake vegetable dish. So it's like okay. a vegan dish. I'm just going to call it the buttered email. And that's just going to make more sense to me. Rizu is in chat saying, I'll butter your ermal. Wow. Thanks, Rizu. Hi, Airfreo. Keep in mind, Rizu, right, we're so trying to keep like this a PG Crimson stream. And the flare for Jeff will likely help. Jog? But... Is the fl oh, second, second, second sank logically? Is this one of those Just, odd, like, right? Uh, yeah, deep dark, their um, underworld might be first, right? Yeah, and that could be possible. How? Where could they get the other teleport to darkness or to, to, to underworld? I guess if Onet opened up, maybe somehow. I Spectre don't know. Shield is down. That shield killer that they found early on uh, was useful, and now here comes here comes the rocket. Yeah. All right. Spectre's got some Let's some go. decent health here. Yeah, Spectre can be uh, formidable sometimes. Another advantage of an early Spectre, it seems to be a disproportionate amount of EXP and money. Uh, should they end up doing shopping in the places like? Uh, Deep, or the Underworld Village, just because the Underworld Village shop is also scaled ahead of Logic as well. Yes, and it's usually worth checking um, if you have uh, any money at that point, you know, definitely. We can see our fun, so... our fun tax, and if there's any sorts of garbled mess at the end of it as well. <laughs> yeah, and I think at this point is where the runners are going to... Hi, Mom! 
are going to diverge if they do, um, because it's up to this point, it's been a pretty linear seed as to what they can do and where the logic was sending them. Yeah, I'm not sure I would have gone through Lumine just because I, I tend to avoid putting off Sanks, but of course Lumine then gets you to Underworld and tend to Kraut and all, all of that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, just at this point, you know, you're trying to open up as much as you can. Uh, Crimson Green in some trouble right. here. Yeah, looks like Poop is Having, dead. Uh, poop is dead. And Ness is not doing <laughs> any damage there with a cracked bat. He's going to try throwing reptiles yeah. at uh, Adam. <laughs> snake strats. There's poison. He's poison. There's, and Ness does have a PSI you know snakes, learn. I don't know what it was. Snake strats have though. saved my butt before. And the flare is multi-use? Oh, it must just be fire. He might get through this. All right, we see Jobby He's saving his underworld. PSI for that. Jobby's running from some spooky ghosts. Mm-hmm. You don't want to get possessed. Even though the ghost is kind of cute. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. You know, okay, so we'll Crimson see may get again. through this fight. However, um, it's going to be one of those where the, the time it's going to take is, is going to be pretty damaging. Yeah. And they just got... Uh, Jobby just got Saturn Valley. And as you can see, we have silver bracelets and coins of slumber. Tricky yo is going to be used. So I'll get the zip gun as well, just for mm -hmm. Jeff having some beef to the attack. Right, yeah. And I definitely would. I would do probably what Job's doing right now. I would maybe go check Fire Springs, but probably not just after seeing what those items were. Yep. And the, the ghosts there are probably tailored to uh, or scaled to Fire Spring, and I believe that, that seemed to be probably a third third sank. So one of the mm -hmm. things that we left behind in either three or at least after getting Jeff would have left led to first sank. So there's a good yeah, chance so we'll see a sign inside. banana, I would I would think, coming up, just because we had foresight access and, and something's going to one. does get through that fight. GG, Crimson. Good job. Looks like Rocket Beta has shown up already for Pooh, so a really early learn set. Uh, Javanator should probably, well, Boogie Tent went down easy, but uh, Javi should really be leaning heavily on um, Rocket Beta just to get through every fight at this point. Yeah, and I think a lot of times, and I know I'm guilty of this, is you just get so used. There's the pack of bubble gum. Oh, God. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. Um, you get so used to just going auto fight, right? But with. Mm -hmm extended PSI, you have so many more options that it, it's a pudding boy that you don't, it's not really as advantageous, you know, unless you just, you know, are doing like, you know, random spawn fights. I think for bosses, it's best to um, actually use your PSI. We do We've, have a uh, rich dungeon. We, yes, it's been the new standard. Um, Javanator making the, making the way to uh, winters, it it makes sense. Um, I would assume that Luma or the Stonehenge base is also probably scaled pretty low. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing some cranky ladies in there, so those would be either Tucson or Foreside. And if uh, the mouse item is something like the signed banana, then at that point we know that yes. we're in go mode. Yeah, right. And it would be worth it to even just go through to get that and then maybe do like um a save in winters and maybe do a death warp if needed crimson green probably heading to check out the boogie tent as well mm -hmm. so still a fairly linear seed in terms of checks and sort of what you know makes sense to do seems to be that logic is saying that your fourth sank is going to be um Magnet Hill, but it could also be just all you need is a jar of fly honey as well, and they could leave Saturn Valley. Right, and it could go to, well, and they could get a pencil eraser. There was also the repel item right there, the durian was at the winter's shop. Oh, nice. Did Jov notice that? Or so now winter shop, um, three department, three, or three, three? three drugstore there. So, um, Crimson Green, if he, if he knows that the durian's a repel item, that would be a great way to make up ground, uh, slowly over on Javanator, especially if Stone hinges. Yes. Uh, required. Right. And it's not like, you know, it's called the, you know, anyone who knows about durian fruit, they smell like death, right? So it's sort of a 
thing where you kind of have to say, well, I know that durian smells, so that would repel people from me. Um, it's not necessarily, it doesn't say repel in the actual name. It's kind of something that you have to just kind of know. So crimson might not be super just familiar. There. Well, that's a good sign. Everyone's afraid except the little UFO. <laughs> brave boy. May he rest in peace. The brave, the brave little UFO. And some of the nice things you get when you get that, uh, that shuffle is the... Uh, sometimes certain enemies just don't spawn, especially the kind of the sort of guaranteed ones, Belch Base, mm -hmm. uh, Dungeon Man there in Winters, the, the, the Mad the, Dogs have not spawned. The Cultist House. And Java's Hello, smartly Mad skipping, Hello, skipping those present checks just because knowing that it was... It's a really little bit easy, lower. Yeah, low, low level, nothing, nothing for him there. Gift checks are very enticing, though. They're enticing. I want to know what's in that gift box. I mean, the other thing it could be at this point when you're going back to those old spots are a couple life yeah. noodles. Cause those don't really have a, 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 a rhyme or right? reason. Yeah. It's good to know that I didn't realize that um, the department store helpers or the general store helpers could sell repel items. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I usually patient. check them. Mm -hmm. I usually check them if, you know, I'm seeing good stuff for the, what would you say, the weapons dealer, I guess. Well, not the arms dealer, but, you the, know. The, the main, the main shopkeeper. Office and defense. Yeah, there you go. Javanator determined to get that present. Great charm. Hey, Nano. You, yeah, I'm glad you caught that reference, Rizu. <laughs> the brave little UFO. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. For anyone that's joined us recently, this is the Night Pendant Cup, which is a tournament that's going on right now. Um, it's based out of Moonside, and it will always be a Doc Saturn seed with PSI Extended, and then one extra flag set for each bracket race. This is going to be the first location. Okay. It's convenient that we're, we're likely going to see Stonehenge here. Oh, it's also nightmare. great to get rid of, um, get rid of this, this guy first right away. Nice, yeah. Um, and so the flag set for this um, series of brackets is generate food. So you're going to see some things like buttered herbal and a can of soda. And the repels will be named something different as well. So we have seen that in this seed, the repels are called durians. Or they're not called, they are durians. Uh, I don't think a Javanator caught that Ness's Nightmare put on a, a, a different shield, at least not a reflecting one. Ooh. Maybe he did. Crying. Or maybe I missed it. Yeah, there we go. So the shield is. Okay, the shield it must is be, it's a power shield. Oh yeah, he got through. It's nice to see nightmare early on like that. Just well, it's never nice to see nightmare if we're being honest, but just not later scaled because getting that yeah, getting very... that taken care of sooner <laughs> rather than later, you know, or yes, seeing seeing but... a, a decently scaled one at the end of a place like Stonehenge would be bad. Yeah, news. I've. Um, I feel like a couple of versions ago of the scramble, I ran into a nightmare in the pyramid, and it was like literally the only thing I could do. And I just I had to grind, and I was using snake strats and kind of losing my mind. So that has been kind of repaired since then. So you're not going to see, you know, awful situations like that as as often anymore. And despawning through the pond cave, and we're about to see what the mouse has in the lab. Meteorite piece. So that's mm. going to bring them. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be helpful. Okay, it's Charles, what be, would you do? You know, you, you left yourself a save point. Mm -hmm. um, you know, is it return mice or exit mice in Stonehenge? Turn it uh, over here. It will be, well, Doc Saturn is always return mice. 
Okay, so we are gonna have to walk out of Stonehenge here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, I'm feeling like the fact that we've already had the first sank down, and logically this is between first and second sank. Are they gonna give you an item to unlock sank four, really, at this point? Right, right, yeah. Or it would be more sense to kind of go the four side route or the meteorite piece route and see what's happening mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Does Javanator remember? Ooh, a bag of Dragonite's gonna be useful, especially in that last final fight if you can hold on till then. These enemies might be a little bit spooky here. Um, looks to I be... have not seen the abridged dungeon for Stonehenge yet, so this is interesting. And now, looks like Crimson's going into that nightmare this... fight with uh, Dwarf down. Turns out Stonehenge was a bad move. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's why I asked high. what you would do, because it's like, it would make sense to go in, right? Yeah, Just because you're it also helps there and you if have I had repels, I would have gone through stone yeah. and repelling and not and seen that... an enemy at all. And right, and that was something to... that I was going to mention, right? They don't have repels. And yeah, it looks like that was... Well, well Jeff is getting a lot of levels here. Now, if Crimson Green uh, doesn't dip the dungeon, or chooses to ignore the eraser eraser. That's gonna make this a whole new game. Right. So you might using, finally using see time. the divergence that we're looking for. All in all, not a, a crucial error really. It's pretty likely that the Crimson's gonna go in. Like, you know, with you, you don't go to South Winters and not dip into there if you have the eraser eraser. Right. If for anything, then to just get it out of your inventory. All right, we got our Tony call, our meme call. It's like the fly honey, or not the fly honey, the zombie paper is in the pyramid, which is going to be totally irrelevant. Oh, Japanese are picking up a fun butterfly, not a bad, butterfly, not a bad one, <laughs> but a butterfly nonetheless. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to see what the meteorite piece is going to lead us to. Ooh, a diadem of kings, nice. Looks like Crimson's considering doing some shopping. This is drinking some liquid luck, as well as a Mr. Baseball bat. So Ness is now gonna okay. be doing some more damage here. All right, we're gonna see what this gets. And then, what is Crimson's meme? Sleep. Sleepy? <laughs> then the Tucson, which is not Slay. terribly appealing right now. The Apple Kid item <sighs> might be a fast get. Um, yeah. And again, at this point, I think they're just they're looking for the side banana or fly honey. It, yeah, I mean, but it also could be a vanilla pencil eraser from Apple Kid, and that'll give you Lily Put. Sure would. All right, so here we see Crimson also dipping into the Stonehenge base. I think if he Crimson... sees those enemies, he says no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, or he just says excuse me and tries again <laughs> no, no one's one going to force, force him yet, yet. but it is, it is likely that we'll see them here these enemies are likely the two or four side department store level they're flame pendants so we're a little bit deeper in logic Are you going for those moises, mises? Uh, Crimson, Crimson if, if Crimson's able to successfully make it down to the, uh, the boss here, they're going to be in for a bad time. They're despawning. Yes. You know, if this boss happens to have, you know, one of those items that uh, unlocks uh, the fourth sank, probably not fourth in logic at least, but they, they could make things close. All right, and so here we see Job going to uh, uh, oh oh oh. I mean, who with Not rocket pretty beta? Pretty close to Everdread. Pretty pretty. I mean, if you have rocket beta, you might as well go for it, and you can get two of those off. Um, yeah. And you you can almost kill anything, um, even out of logic, and in, in two effective rocket betas, especially if it's like we're on the fourth or fifth sank scaling. Comes in going for that crystal charm and now fighting uh, a bunch of spiders. A lot of bugs. A lot. 
You know, there's something about uh, messing around and finding out, and I think Crimson's about to find out. Maybe he wanted to die? I don't, maybe he meant to take the death? Maybe he realized that this is a higher scale than he wanted to be? Oh, Yogurt dispenser. Power Patch Kids, okay. All right. <laughs> no one has checked the blade. You should always check the mines. Take it from me. Okay, so Apple Kid had yogurt dispensers, so we're Correct. gonna be seeing four side here right now. now here's a here's a little known Earthbound fact. The uh, four side was actually modeled after Shigesakuto Itoi's favorite American city, uh, Wichita, Kansas. Is the truth. So listen. Okay. So listen. All right. So we're gonna see what's in the mines. We're gonna. Job's gonna get that dusty dunes teleport. Um, what has happened to Crimson Stream? Oh dear. That ad uh, struggled to come back after a... the ad. Oh, is it still an ad? I don't think it's an ad, but something. It was Sour Patch oh, Kids. First they were first they were uh, sour, waiting for them to be sweet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna ping uh, Temple. Dear Temple, we need help. We only assume that Crimson Green's in go mode, though. <laughs> yeah, he somehow made it through. Oh, he's gonna just oh, pull up the go. stream in Magic Camp. <laughs> yeah. Psych! Okay, so <laughs> he went to Saturn Valley. All right, fair enough. And Javanator, uh, yeah, check the mines with his UFO engine, so again, he means nothing to us, so... Uh, he's checking... Instead, uh, he's going to Moonside there with the Armored Frog, which is a little, little more realistic in logic here. Right. This, this feels, I think, comfortable for him. So Moonside could have Pencil Eraser, um, could have Sign Banana. Hmm. Could have the see, what else? fly honey. Any one of those could three at this point. Would be something that you want to see. Also could perhaps have something completely random, like a monkey imitation or something. Could, and that would, be, that would be not good. That would mean that uh, at that point Monotoli is the, is the correct way. And again, when uh, we'll see if Crimson Green maybe skips Moonside at that point and goes for a kid check plus Monotoli item. That's be another way to, uh, I guess, shave off uh, some seconds that they're behind here. Mm -hmm. Javanator has become a real Moonsidian uh, and successfully did the despawn. Nice. Successfully walked straight down. And usually when it's not generate food, a lot of times um, the Moonside food dealer guy shop man um he will have repels but especially as uh, the frequently the dx's yes mm -hmm. okay. crimson uh, uh ooh. crimson straight a little too close to the rooftop it and we have a, a, a carbon dog dog. it's gonna be Woo! it's gonna be scaled reasonably deep so buckle up buckaroos we'll let's use that rocket beta <laughs> Six hundred damage. Rat that's that's the key. Oh, oh boy, Rat of Doom, Rat of Rat of Doom, Rat of Doom. Uh, also has high, high, high gut stats, much like the Rowdy Mouse. And not a consistent, uh, not a consistent rocket damage there. Mm -hmm. No, sometimes they do one damage. Have you ever, have you seen that? Have you noticed that? Yep, I believe that's based on the speed. It's kind of, you know, an X divided by X and then a percentage thing mm. of that. So then okay. um, if, if the enemy is faster than you, it's not going to hit every time. I could be wrong, the chat could correct right, let's me. see what Malt has. Jarfly so honey. honey. So we are that's in go mode. be go mode. And Crimson Green getting a butterfly. Also getting the butterfly. <laughs> it made him relax though. Yeah, he might have needed it. I don't know. Now at this point, it's just cleaning up those uh, those two other sinks for Javanator. No, uh, there's no repel items though, so it's gonna get get ugly. And if Crimson Green could remember the location of a Durian, that would uh, for sure 
repel. I don't think, I don't, I really don't think Crimson knows that the durian is the repel. I'm gonna say, because if he knew, then he would have bought it, right? You think so? Unless he's just playing the long game here. So we're seeing Job go in. He's gonna take care of the fire springs. And then to get to his last sink, he's gonna have to do Belch Base and then go through the Milky Whale Tunnel. Javani, you're also not getting the return mice. And Crimson Green with Crimson? their little divergence there, yeah. Yeah. probably not gonna Going like the what yogurt. they find unless this is the uh, side Could banana. Be side banana, right. And Crimson and does have the mice. make it very close. At this point, that's, that's about all they can hope for. Mm -hmm. Does Crimson yes. also have mice? Crimson has mice, Javanator does not. I thought Jav has mice and Crimson doesn't. I don't believe Jav went up there. Crimson, well, maybe. I, no, I don't Jav know. did. Oh, he went up there? All did Crimson right, that's fine. Hey, IQ. IQ says this, good luck. This is effective service. commentating here. Who's got what? Who's on first? <laughs> I'm changing the subject. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a fun fact. <laughs> Give us a fun Distract fact? Them. All right. Um, so in the movie Die Hard, uh, Nakatomi Plaza's original name was going to be Manatoli Tower. It is the truth, so listen. <laughs> Dealing with a woolly shambler over here. Crimson well, Green figuring out that the, uh, yeah, the, the, the PK shambler there is uh, taking care of business. He's wild and woolly and shambling. Eric Fram. Well, he's not wild. Yes. He's just wild. Calling out, calling out my name. <laughs> Oof! Golly. Crimson probably just. So it looks like Javanet oh, did have uh, have uh, have mice. So that was that was the truth. So listen. All right. Crimson Green got got through that fight and earned lots of experience <gasps> with the troubles. Don't do it! Don't do it, our friend. All right, if Crimson can get the skips, then... He... I don't think Crimson's going to be able to get past this boss, though. And oh, that, yeah, that one hurts. he just got hit with another one. Uh -oh. Some caterpillars. Uh-oh, caterpillars. Not so fun are not to see interested in, in getting any experience at this point. The fire. Who got some rocket beta, so... But the that, that was fire! Tough. I don't think yeah, the salt water, so uh, it's got some enough rocket betas to get past this next uh, next boss. Except Crimson's getting lost. Taking on some irrelevant fights. And the, the, the shield pop up there. That one, that one hurt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. So Crimson's still trying to get through these Shambler fights, and that is a lot of sprites uh, in the Belch base, and not very nice ones at that. Uh, you never want to see the exploding enemies. You just don't. Well, a big league bat for Crimson. So, uh, you know, at the Sorry, very guys, least, was... he's going to feel well equipped. <laughs> Oh, we got a big league bat. I was also in the principal's office for a moment, so I'm sorry if I was silent. <laughs> I missed it. What was what was it all about? Oh, you know what it was about. I don't. Did you say a word? I just I took I took the I took the fall for you, Charles. So what did I say? Nothing. <laughs> the, the copyright infringement with Nakatomi Plaza, and it's a free fight I here on uh, on Mole. So that's really fortunate for Ness having the or oh, wow. having a big league bat. Oh man! At this point, we auto fight, and, and life is good. Yeah! So, wow! Oh wow! If this is the sign banana, this if it's a banana, then then it could be interesting. But again, Javanator is circling in that fourth sank, and yeah, only I think a rough and... moon side, maybe a trillion hour sprout could could throw him off and or in uh. Crimson still has to do game. fire springs as well. Yes, but at this point, the enemies may be running from that big league back. So I think it's the uh, offense stat as part of it. 
It's a pencil eraser. So that's gonna lead to a, a likely pretty deep uh, mm -hmm, fifth, mm -hmm. sixth, seventh, eighth sank there. Yeah. So Crimson hasn't done Moonside, which is where the jar of fly honey was. Yes, but Crimson's likely not because right. Crimson has four sinks. True. Hmm. And did he? I don't think he defeated that plague rat, did he? Did he get the plague rat? He did not. Because if he did, then he could all. Oh, no, he did it. Okay. All right. The plague rat. Yeah, that's right. That it's could be hard. a thing to go check. That plague rat was probably beatable if you got a few rocket betas off on him. Yeah. And we're gonna see. Um, I'm thinking that Paula will probably be a fairly good level, seeing as that the Monotoli building was a little bit deeper than should have been. Yeah. Or where Crimson should have been, I should say. I think, um, you know, Javanator using the, the rocket alphas. Um, you know, I think it's one of those, you know, it's 3pp versus 15 for the beta, which makes it a little more attractive, but realistically mm -hmm. when the beta does 600 damage and the alpha does 130, you know, right, it's five worth Five alphas it. is technically better than one beta, but in terms of the time spent and the damage, just if you have rocket yes. beta, just go all out. And also those those speed rolls where sometimes if you're using rocket alpha or whatever, it's going to hit for one, and that's a waste of time as well. It's a waste of a turn. Mm -hmm. All is uh, learning Star Storm, and there's another rocket beta there. So there's double betas on Crimson Green. Yeah. He's working his way up for some John for the mice the now. Little skinny Milky Well Hall. There's some good overworld teleport dodging on Crimson's side. Uh oh. I don't think that was intentional <laughs> on currents inside. And Jav made it through the skinny tunnel. With, uh, yeah, so there's no sandwiches, which is uh, kind of a pain, especially right. when this is yeah. scaled fourth or deep. These are some four side enemies. Mm -hmm. But getting through fairly easily. Crimson getting his mice. Oh, a red swirl, no! Javanator just, oh, no. just got poked. It's the uh, Guzzler Prince. That's the name in that. And that's when uh, the, the, the auto fight's a, yeah, auto fight's a dangerous proposition uh, and something like that because you can find a PP getting drained real fast with just life ups and, and everyone's lifing up and no one's actually doing damage. And all of that for a broken spray can. But we do have that, that fourth thing in logic, and Crimson Green's going on a magical journey to, to the not fourth <laughs> sanctuary. Looks like some magic can't scale the enemies going this way, so, uh... No, if I were as Crimson, I would go take care of Fire Springs before deciding on where I wanted to go for my fourth sank. Or I guess for my final sank, right? As, as we debated earlier in the Discord, you know, the, there's a... An argument to be made for going highest to lowest once you finally decide to do those sinks. Hmm. That is, oh, that is a good Earthbound argument. Earthbound fun fact, uh, Milky Well was put in because the Dairy Farmers Association of Japan lobbied Shigesako Itoi to make some milk references in the game. <laughs> Originally, the um, text that you see, be a thoughtful strong boy, was going to say, milk makes you a thoughtful strong boy. That's just that big Japanese milk money pushing its weight around. <laughs> I cannot drink milk. I can't do it. You can drink anything if you're brave enough, slug. <sighs> Maybe with some cookies. Oh, Hall of Fame bat. Nice. Ooh, I might tell Crimson uh, I'm not supposed to be here, but I do appreciate the... The, the tin cup aspect of, I'm going to keep doing this, even though I know it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. I would what also if, drop that my teddy kids bear. Is dead. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, there's going to be some red caterpillars in Magicant. That could 
really oh. slow people down here, especially if it's oh, a without red help. caterpillar partnership. Oh, you're right, Rizu. It is the truth. So, so darn it, listen. you better listen. I hope you're listening. We do see Jav making his way to the Sea of Eden. Crimson forgot about the overworld teleports. And it's going to be a really spooky fight. It's very spooky looking. I have a feeling that they might be like, hey, is it okay if I break your legs and like rip your arms off? And then I'm going to cut your ears out and your eyes. And then I'm just going to float some words out there. <laughs> Are you okay with this? <laughs> Oh, and there's some crows I have to feed. I have a new murder of crow friends, so. <laughs> Listen, I'm the star master. <laughs> Surprise, it was me all along. It might be time to start running, Crimson. Oh, we got one down. Oh. Being a beefy Paula. Hello, Poop just died. Oh, RIP Poop. Another broken spray can. Job has been plagued with broken spray cans toward the end of the seed. And that just seems trolly. Oh, hello! The Pitbull Slug. Kill them. Kill them all. Yeah, murder them. The murder of slugs. <laughs> Crimson Green finding out their last save point was hopping off of Tessie. Oof, good grief. And you don't want to see sentry robots here and no, magic. The job is going to be feeling the, the rush oh, of like, man. you're probably feeling pressure, even though at this point there's not really any pressure, but every one of these fights, when you hit that you know, <laughs> they 20, don't know that. minute mark in a, in, a, in a scramble race, you think any moment that the dun could be clicked. Right. And you, I mean, those sentry robots are a scripted fight, so you cannot run from them. But he took pretty good care of them. Yeah, better than avoiding those uh, criminal caterpillars just with that the fire attack that could come through. Now, if that flame pendant that they picked up was equipped, uh, mm. that'll make at least the caterpillars far less lethal for one person. And those little snug snugs, those little slugs snuck up on him. Uh, not sure. I guess Crimson's maybe going to check desert now. The mine. They're not. They're not going to like what they find. What was it? And, I missed it. Uh, Desert was a UFO engine. Oh, shoot. Yeah. And uh, uh, as anticipated and predicted, getting through Magikent has been um, not the most pleasant journey, uh, as there was uh, repels in the game. Let's, um, let's also put in our, uh, our guesses for the final, final oh, play. We know it's uh, not mini, Frank. Mini bar. I'm going truly Nash. Ooh. Clumsy robot. Who is it? Who is it? It's Boogie Tent. <laughs> What's mouth. he doing Floating here? Mouth Floating mouth man. Um, Crimson we got the Dragonite. We got Rocket Beta. This is going to be possibly the a desert. one round right here. Yeah, that was it. So, Horse with uh, name. Java Nader will come in right around the 4220. GG! Javi! Well done, Java Nader. Crimson just, uh, you know, in the, in the Monotoli versus Moonside. Uh, mm -hmm. chose poorly and still yeah. managed to make it through Monotoli, which I think then continued them down the wrong path even farther. Right, and and that really just goes to show that that can happen so easily um, in these scramble races. You go one wrong way and you kind of think, well, okay, I think I can do this. Maybe it's a little, you know, eh, iffy, but you still go forward with it, you know, and then it just kind of sends you down a spiral that... And here we go, Crimson is going to Moonside, and he will soon find the jar of fly honey and say, Oh, no. Why me? We'll see if, uh, put down an invite to Crimson. Yeah. Or, sorry, not Crimson, uh, Job yeah. later. Javni with a, a solid performance now, again, being the seventh seed, it's kind of a, a sleeper there because Javinator has won some of the, just some of the weekly casuals, and that's been, uh, so yeah. Javinator is certainly capable of making a deep run in this tournament. Absolutely. Speaking hey, John, of, how's it going? Hello, here. how's it going? Very well. Great race. Um, how did you feel about it? 
Uh, pretty good, honestly. Uh, just sorry, just give me one sec. This game is okay. crazy loud in my ear. No <laughs> I just gotta turn it down. Ah, that's bad. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, thanks for the GG. Yeah, it was, uh, that was a really quick one. Those, those rocket beta seeds are, uh, they're nuts. Mm -hmm. Crimson is yes. joining us as well. Uh, congratulations, Crimson. It was, a, it was a valiant effort. I like the fact that I think you knew you were out of logic and you kept forging ahead anyways. <laughs> yeah. I got some, I got some stuff, so. You got some, you got some darn good stuff. Uh, I have a question for Job, um, which I think Crimson, this will be a spoiler, but you'll learn soon enough. Um, what made yep. you choose to go to Moonside versus Monotoli? Uh, I kind of felt like I was going down... Like Moonside had been sitting there for a long time unchecked mm -hmm. and just from like the way the scaling was and where it was pushing me, I felt like it scaling might be getting away from me. So I, I was kind of at the point in the seed where I wanted to see what else was going on. Um, so I, yeah, you know, and I had to go to Foresight anyway Crimson. for, for um, <laughs> Mavi. had to go to Foresight anyway for uh the Monotoli Tower, so I figured I'd, I'd take a peek at Moonside because it's been there the whole time. Yeah, uh, and I hadn't yet. Yeah. Once you saw the frog there, I think it was a, the, the frog. You think, okay, this is yeah. this is comfortable. This is where yeah. I'm likely supposed to be. Yeah, I was actually thinking about talking to a hint man because I had a bunch of stuff available. Uh, like ran to the check the desert. Desert was kind of I have no idea what the scaling was, but the item was just kind of like blast. So I didn't want to do yeah. desert. Yeah, UFO engine was not highly motivating to get. Yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, what would I? You would get a teleport. You didn't have the tiny ruby, so you wouldn't get a key item. And exactly. what teleport would it really have given you that would have been useful at that point? You guys had lots of teleports. The only thing I could think of would maybe be Onet. Right. Yeah. Only because I can quickly check another item that might be mm -hmm. uh, like a key to the shack or something. Yeah. And then, uh, Were you hoping to find? Oh, go ahead, Charles. Sorry. I was gonna ask um, Crimson. Um, being the food shuffle, did you notice that um, there was durians in the three uh, three store there? The the little helper. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh that makes so, so much sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you talked to that little the second second banana there, and they had durians, and I thought that would have made at least helpful along the way. You could have been. Oh uh, yeah, that would have been so much easier. In magic hand. So I don't know if you so... just you did glazed over the durian there, but. Uh, <laughs> that would have been helpful, especially. But were you not aware? I didn't even think about it. I haven't done. I have not done too many randomized, you know, generate food seeds. So Dury didn't didn't even cross my mind that it's stinking, you know, would repel everything away. Mm -hmm. Right. Usually yeah. look for the and repel burgers or repel sandwiches. Or right. Repel, that's what I was looking for. Repellent. Uh, but yeah, Durian's like the only one that doesn't have repel in its name, and mm -hmm. so that that's Tolmar with a sneaky one. <laughs> Yeah. Have any has any have you guys ever eaten a durian? No. 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 I I've honestly seen, do not think they're that bad. Those. Well, that's what I hear. Like if you cook them, right? But they just have a very foul smell in general. I yeah, I mean, it, it to me it kind of tasted like an onion. Huh. But whatever. <laughs> I think uh Javine, when you saw the, the final boss there at, at Magic Antum. I'll, I'll hold back on the spoilers for Crimson, but uh, there's a little bit of a relief. Um, was was there anything you were hoping it was not going to be at that point? Because you'd seen a few few wicked ones already. Uh, I was, was hoping it was a clumsy robot, probably. That would have been annoying. Yeah. Um, not that it would have been, like, I, I probably would have been fine. I could have spammed, like, rockets for 3 PP and... And and I believe you have Paralyze as well. Ness has that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you're right. I don't actually know. I, I usually only check that stuff if I'm in a situation where I need it, which is, right. I don't know and, if that's a good thing Crimson or a bad thing. Used but like... it, yeah, Crimson used it Monotoli Tower on a pretty overleveled Mondo Mole, but that made that fight far more accessible for him. So, right. Yep. Yeah, that's, I think that or just... Um, that was pretty much it. Any anything else that like the the rockets would have missed? Although I knew I was sitting on that bag of Dragonite, I've been I've been holding it the whole seed right for that last mm -hmm. fight. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah, I was happy to see what it was. Spoilers. Yeah, um, it's 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 amazing how um, just any repel item makes such a world of difference going through Magic yeah. Camp. Crimson just oh got a Oh my god, Magic Camp was terrifying. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried. Uh... I was really worried.
avoiding those red caterpillars. But here's the thing. Unrunnable robots. Aren't the mm. red caterpillars not, like in vanilla, right? The red caterpillars are higher scale than the green, but in the scramble, isn't it the opposite? Or am I, I don't wrong? believe so. I don't believe I mean, so. They were, yeah, they were where they, where like they needed to be scaling wise. It would have been some good so, experience. Um, I, I wouldn't have been like, like it would have been really time consuming. I had a flame pendant on Ness. Um, mm -hmm. If I was worried about actually dying, uh, I, you know, there's a decent chance there's a flame pendant in the last shop in Saturn Valley or at Magicant. So like if I died, that probably would have been my plan is to take a quick peek for a flame pendant and tr try again, basically, and just get crazy levels busting through them. But it would have been really time consuming. That's very true. Well, it was very well played. So Thanks. GG, you're going to move on to the next round. Um, we have a lot of races coming up. Let me inform y'all. So we have a race tomorrow at 6 p.m. And I believe that's Tolmar and Static Pole. No, that's Sunday. Hang on, who's tomorrow? Sorry. Okay, so tomorrow is Andy and Unknown. So that's Anda. And that race will be at 6 p.m. Central. On Sunday, we have the race between J. Tolmar and Static Pulse, and that's Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. And then on Monday, I will be racing Mick McGurk, and that's 9 p.m. MC, MC. MC, MC. And then there's also a race on Tuesday, which I believe is... Panther, Pink Panther and Mad Cats. So we do still have a couple of um, first round races to get through. We have Sarah and Fly Eagles Fly, uh, Charles and Nanobite. And then, yeah, that's gonna finish up our first round brackets. So uh, definitely tune in for all of those. Every single one of them. It, it is Every an appointment, single it's appointment viewing. One. We will know if you miss them. So don't the best it. part will be, I think, you know, with, with, with Sarah being located overseas, it's going to be interesting to see how, uh, how they can accommodate their, their, their schedule. I know they're usually, um, yeah, up late anyways, well, but let's, yeah, yeah. kind of some, I mean, it'll some, have to some probably home turf be... advantage for who's ever against Sarah. Right. It'll have just to be to probably time. in the afternoon, you know, because depending on where she is or they are, excuse me, they are, um, in. It's probably they're probably about like six or seven hours ahead. So I'm just gonna make sure to schedule all my races if it comes to that. That everything's gonna have to be like five a.m. local time for Sarah. <laughs> That's cruel. <laughs> that is cruel. He pretty much Charles does it. whatever he can. <laughs> you know, lie, cheat, steal, anything to retain the time. <laughs> all right, but I have, I have real, did anyone? Did anyone see me bleed Electro Spectre to death? That was that, sweet. was, that was impressive. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. So I saw the snake strap. I saw you it. didn't have access to, to rocket. That made it tough. But yeah, the, the snake was a good strategy there. I'm telling you, snake strats, they work. I'm not making it up. <laughs> I'm a believer now after that. Yeah, one. see? We're not saying it works well, but it works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the fight could have gone a little faster, but you know, it, the fight still win. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta poison an enemy. Look at all these zombies. Yeah, actually, because these like generate food seeds are so weird with repels. Basically, what I tried to do in my practices was just not use repels and actually try to do that like despawning enemies thing and and mm -hmm. avoid enemies thing. Because usually I just lean on repels and it's I don't six. worry about it. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I was like, that's uh. Aw, do you made your favorite thing me? You're yeah. way better person than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I can. God, I mean, of all the of all the flag sets, um, the generate food is I think my least favorite because I, I'm such a repel heavy person that right. mm -hmm. as soon as you take that crutch away, I'm I'm a little bit of a you know flailing around like oh man, I waste time checking shops like it's got to be here, it's got to be here, they got to be here, and. Uh, so I'm I'm slightly nervous for for having a, a repel, or not being able to find them, and just really wanting them. Yeah, I think my only thing, like I, I like the idea of it. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is it really makes it random. 
where they are. Like if it's just yes. repel sandwiches, yes. you can, you know, you check bakeries like there's yeah, it can still be kind of random, but like there's, you know, some set places where you can check for them and kind of be procedural about it. It's really a shot in the dark with uh, the generate food. So my my general kind of feeling has been forget about it. If you have yeah. if you happen to see him, cool. Otherwise, just dodge, learn how to dodge stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there were a few a uh, few good overworld dodges there. Crimson had some some good overworld teleport uh, escapes. Um, just need just need one more through uh, Peaceful Rest Valley there to get to the village. I know. Crimson just thought I could beat that fire, and, and you couldn't quite beat that fire. Nope. Does anyone need a a new degree under twenty thousand dollars? Talk to Crimson Green. <laughs> Air Matt College. What, what is sponsored that? by Earthbound Super Series? <laughs> Quick, Air Matt College is now slugs. Yeah, my trashy cousin showed up. I'm sorry. Turns out the Merrimack College mascot is a warrior. So you could all go be warriors. Ooh. It is the truth, so listen. It's the truth, so listen. Is that Lil Ram Raisin? <laughs> <laughs> Lil Ram Raisin. No. Oh man, magic can't with no repels or durian. You have a durian. You got one. Someone I used it. Oh, I used it. I'm oh, sorry, I probably shouldn't be backseating. So hot tip about durians, if you don't know. I don't actually know how this works for the other repel items, but like use the help thing in the items to check and see what its duration is, because it's oh, not always yeah. the same. Oh, durian really? Durian can vary from a, a generate food seed. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. I did two practices. One of them was a 20 second repel, and then the next seed, it cost a different amount. And I was like, that's weird. And so uh, I, I kind of helped it again, and it was a 16-second durian. So there you go. Take a peek. But it was at still the just name. named the same as nope. just said durian. Just it durian. didn't say, like, extra smelly durian or something. No, no. Extra durian. stank. <laughs> I'll take the durian with extra stank, please. Crimson. Those little slugs are, like, Beefy invisible. Paula. I know. <laughs> yeah, these slugs are not fun. <laughs> <laughs> with the background or sneaky i was honestly I blame attack this for this one <laughs> there's a part right here in the spiral when i came around the corner i just i freaked out it looked terrifying and i went back and there was a bunch of stuff i was like oh god yeah you get, to, you get yeah. stuck in there right around right around here a few times yeah i got the, and those slugs just dots come out of nowhere yep mm-hmm I will say though, at least they're like of everything you could fight here, they're the least terrible. Yeah, I mean, no, no multi-person attacks. Not a, not a whole lot. An item whole is lot. called the big steak. <laughs> Three-minute repel item. Yeah. Wow, look at that background. Yeah, give me them. Give me that. Give me that 180-second repel. <laughs> I need the big stank, please. <laughs> I'm extra stank. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's coming to play. Kill it. Kill it, Crimson. Kill it. The Crimson is almost finished with Magic Hand. I'm going to uh, call off the races once more that are coming up yep. in case anyone missed them. Um, as I said, tomorrow. We have. Yeah, you're Frank. Uh, Andy and Unknown at 6 p.m. Central. Sunday, we have Jay Tolmar and Static Pulse at 6 p.m. Eastern. Monday, we have myself and Gurk at 9 p.m. Central. And Tuesday, we have. Pink Panther and Mad Cats also at 9 p.m. Central. 
and a and few uh, more races some, will be announced. Sometime with Nero Bay and I will be sometime at 9 p.m. Central. Haven't, mm -hmm. haven't yet settled on the day, but I see uh, the days are clearly uh, filling up. Yes, and so hopefully by the end of next week, we will be finished with the first round brackets and we will be moving on to the lovers bracket and the second round of the top bracket. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. GG! GG. Great job. Good job sticking with it, Crimson. I just wanted to use my Hall of Fame bat and my uh, bag of Dragonite. That's what it's about. <laughs> All right, well, I think that is going to wrap it up, so... I'm going to see it in, in logic where Lilliput steps would have been, so what Sank would you have unfurled there? That was that was maybe Sank 8, just given the fact that there was... Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was definitely, it was definitely 7 or 8, because I was hitting some not fun stuff. I'm surprised you got I was like, you as know far what? as you did without the right I know, right? But I was like, if I feel like if I can get there, I was like... I might be able to get some skip sandwiches and, and happy happy. So that was what I was going for. Yeah. Yeah, because you were thinking, I mean, your your routes diverge. We were saying if you had picked up like a signed banana on Monotoli Tower or something where it would end up taking you through Belch Base and then to a point sank, um, you know, it, it could have maybe led to a little catch up, but that was just uh, way too if, deep. Well, and I just saw that Everdrad had the signed banana. Is that what you were just uh -huh. saying? Well, uh, Monotoli, uh, uh, but like, yeah, that oh, mouse. That that yeah. That, yeah. So if Crimson had made it through that mouse fight, or that rat fight, then could have had signed banana. I mean, um, going back with Paula and, and a pair of rocket betas, that mouse would have gone down real quick, but so it goes. So it goes. My nemesis, Electro Spectre. <laughs> Electro Spectre's nemesis, a snake. Noss's nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> a snake. Yeah, was... Noss. <laughs> the newly randomized names are one of my favorite things that's happened to Scramble. Yeah. They're, they're so oh, yeah, 100%. Ninja Turtles will get picked 100% of the time. The uh, I, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I will take Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Well, that either you made like, it, do. it would have been a, a level 40 Kraken, so that would have been pretty bad as well. Crimson, you made it pretty deep in Stonehenge, yeah. despite I think knowing that you weren't supposed to be there either. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah Stonehenge. Yeah, we, made it, we, made it, we made it work, but you know, there's always the, there's always the fun bracket. I'll see you again, yeah. all of you. Looks like um, Lilliput would have been seventh in logic, followed by Pink Cloud. Shoo! Shoo, girl. There it is. <laughs> no, Lilliput, Lilliput would have been eight. That was the last was thing it? there. Yep. Uh, I, I, guess must, it, I must not have read the spoilers the right way then, which is entirely possible. Yep. Mm. But hey, you know what? No one remembered to brush their teeth. <laughs> That's yeah, I'm full of shame. Yeah. I'm pretty. I'm full of shame. I had toothbrush. the toothbrush. Yeah, me too. It's very shameful. <laughs> you can't waste time menuing to get there. No, no dead turtles. I was thinking about using the toothbrush at one point, but you know, just like in real life, other priorities. <laughs> yeah, I had no <laughs> point. Felt like, yeah. <laughs> I had no <laughs> point. Felt like I was ahead. There. I was terrified the whole time. And then I got the magic hand, and I'm seeing these caterpillars, and I'm just imagining that you're just like, oh, yeah, I found the repels. Do, 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 cruising yeah. along. So we do have a couple of community members doing a Earthbound glitchless race. Um, do we want to give one of them a raid? It's looking like we Simple. already are, so it's not up to us anyways. Oh, awesome. So we're raiding Hunter. Everyone go say hi. Like I said, they're um, doing a community Earthbound glitchless race. Thank you for hanging out. Um, once again, lots of races coming up. Uh, Charles, thank you for commentating with me. Temple, thank you for restreaming. Um, thanks to all the admins, Panther, Unknown, Crimson, Naz, Airfram, everyone, Eagles, for helping out with all of this. We'll see you very soon. Bears. Have a great night. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. GG. Bye.